What's going on, everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 and another quick tutorial and guide. Now, this is current through the post-launch era, and today I wanted to talk about power leveling. Now, before I do, I just wanted to say, if you're brand new to the game, you really should go through and finish the campaign. It's uh, some of the best experience in the game. It's designed to get four heroes to level 50. Plus, you're going to earn just a ton of Defender Medals and 600 Gems just for completing all of the campaign missions. So your first stop, if you just came into the game, should without question be going through the campaign. No doubt about it. Now, power leveling in DD2, once you get to level 50 and are capable of clearing maps, is pretty much exactly how you'd think it would be. Uh, first off, everything is all about the trials. Um, the chaos level trials are where you want to be for all experience, for most loot, for most gold, for defender medals, everything else. It's all right here at the trials and that's where you want to head. Uh, leveling is no different at all. Now of course once we get to level 50 we all uh, have the hankering for a new hero and you saved up all those defender medals so hey why not go ahead and start a new one and head on in. Now, depending on which Chaos Trial you do, depends on how much XP you're going to earn and how fast you're going to level. Most of the Chaos 7 runs will get you from 0 to 50 within one run. Uh, 3 of the 4, that is. And of course, you can't pick. It's random. And it's not worth, as far as experience per hour, scrolling through and looking for different ones. So by all means, just take the first one it gives you. Now, Chaos 6 is pretty close to Chaos 7 in experience, but just not quite. It's going to take about a run and a half. You won't have to complete two full runs to get from 0 to 50. However, one and a half runs will indeed get you there. Chaos 5 is just barely a step below Chaos 6 in XP earned. Uh, it's going to take you just under two runs on most of the maps, um, up to two when you're looking at them all. Chaos 4 is going to be right below that, where it will take you about two runs and a few waves. Uh, the runs, you know, the XP is a little bit less. You're going to have to do more than two runs on most of the maps. And for all of these, of course, it does vary as the maps are all different with how much experience they give. Chaos 3, you're going to have to complete about three runs. You'll probably hit level 50 before you finish your third run, but it will indeed be close. Chaos 2, you're going to have to complete 4 runs. Same thing there, you will probably hit 50 before you complete your 4th run, but it will be close as well. Chaos 1 is going to take you between 5 and 6 runs. Now there is quite a variance in the XP on Chaos 1 maps, so it does depend on which map you get, but most likely it's going to take you between 5 and 6 runs to get from 0 to level 50. And then if you just absolutely must have that new hero leveled to level 50 now and are not yet capable of doing the campaign, you want to go to the Assault on Throne Room map in the campaign or hard, which is the second to the last map. Now if you do Assault on Throne Room, it's going to straight up take you 8 times. You run it 8 times, you'll be 0 to 50. Not the funnest thing in the world to do, however, if you've got to have that hero right now and you're not capable of doing anything in Chaos, Assault on Throne Room is going to be where it's at with the 8 runs. Now people are going to ask about Harbinger's Warship, it's such a quick map, why not do it? And the reason is, is people really grinded the Harbinger's Warship for experience in the past, and now you cannot gain experience on the Harbinger's Warship in consecutive runs. So you're not going to get uh, that XP, you'll get it the first time you do it, the second time you do it, you're going to end up getting zero. So uh, stay away from Harbinger's Warship, just head right to Assault on Throne Room if you want to do the campaign. Now of course Chaos 7 is completely where it's at once you get yourself to Chaos 7 or have some friends that are in Chaos 7 that are happy to run you, you can go from 0 to 50 in one run. However, just do the right thing and do not skip the campaign. You will really be missing out if you do and you will probably regret it later down the road. 
So go through the campaign, have a blast, learn the game, pick up just a ton of Defender Medals, uh, 600 gems, and have four level 50s to start it off. So that will do it for now. Thank you for watching. Click that like button and please subscribe to the channel, and I will be back soon with some more Dungeon Defenders 2. We'll see ya.